So because Kira would need both Jet and Sebastian, whereas Zhu just needs Sebastian. So Wally, I disagree with you. I don't think that that Kira absolutely needs Jet and Sebastian. Only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? I, I think that there are many lineups that don't require. In fact, I, I'd like to talk a little bit about I'd like to talk a little bit about one of my favorite Kira teams that I I had built up a little bit on another account that I no longer play anymore. But it's this uh, it's this team lineup of the the lineup of and we discussed this a little bit uh, last week. Here we go. This this core right here, Kira, Nebula, Orion. Okay, Kira has high armor penetration, not high enough to ignore everyone's armor, but pretty high. Orion has very high magic penetration, right? And Nebula is going to boost alternatively both of these heroes. And the idea is Kira speeds up her attacks and Orion gains bonus energy constantly. So you have you have boosted heroes, boosted damage dealing heroes of both types. And of course, Kira also does pure damage. So these three heroes as a core is relatively inexpensive, right? You are looking at two agility heroes here, but we'll talk about that in just a second. And of course, an intelligence based hero. The idea behind this team and i've called it like the best free to play kira team i've called it the best free to play i'm sorry the most balanced kira team i've called this the most balanced team to build uh, in all of hero wars i've called it a lot of names over the past couple of years but you can use any of the starter tanks aurora astroth or galahad and all three of them are pretty effective now you you could potentially say that Aurora would be the best of the three because uh, Orion spamming magic penetration is going to allow Aurora to do additional damage. But, you know, if you're trying to be a little bit more control and defensive minded, then maybe Astaroth is a better choice. And you can't go wrong with Galahad boosting Kira's damage output, though, as a tank overall, you you use Galahad kind of in a, in a much faster attacking lineup. And then the original design that I had for this was Martha, but you can't easily get Martha. So Thea is also a great choice. So in 2022, the team that I would probably build as a free to play or a, uh, a looking for a balanced team because I don't know what to build yet would be something that looks like this. Probably Aurora to work well with Orion. You have a strength hero, you have two agility heroes and two intelligence heroes, okay? So the main stat of the hero matters based on skin choices, right? But when it comes down to uh, when it comes down to what you need in all of these heroes, Kira has kind of her own soft cap in that you can't build her effectively until you get the winter skin. So you could theoretically build up Nebula instead, and once you get that winter skin, which is her armor penetration skin, Nebula or I'm sorry, Kira's Kira's winter skin, which it's easier to get on mobile, of course. But here on Facebook and web, you can only get it during Winterfest and only randomly. Once you get the winter skin, you really want to focus on that. But you'd, you'd how you would do it, your strength skin stones would go right into the dodge skin for Aurora. Pretty straightforward there. Your agility skin stones would either go into uh, the agility skin, which would be the most efficient, most efficient way to build a nebula or into either of her physical attack skins. And then all of your intelligence skins would then of course go into Orion first, but you would focus specifically if you could, again, winter skin, you would focus on this magic penetration. Otherwise you'd probably just do uh, the magic attack since he has his own magic penetration artifacts, right? So there's your strength, agility, and intelligence skins. And then once you got that main skin for Orion, uh, kind of in a place where you're doing enough damage, you're ignoring enough of the enemy's magic defense, then you would work on Thea's uh, health or armor skins. Magic attack would work as well. Intelligence skin would be the most efficient as well. But that's kind of how you would split up the skins. And I did a little discussion last week about, whoops, about artifacts about the order to level up heroes artifacts you know we can we can have that discussion again but you're going to want to across the board get all of your art your, your primary uh your your weapon artifacts up to three stars which is easy to do because nobody shares nobody shares the weapon fragments you would want to put all of your book artifacts into aurora okay definitely all your books artifacts into aurora first so you can get that dodge skill up there and then I would either focus on 
Kira or Orion, depending on which one of the two you're working on their penetration skin first. Uh, of course, Kira doesn't have the artifact weapon. Kira doesn't have an artifact weapon for penetration like Orion does. So you would definitely need to work on her book potentially second. Okay, so Aurora's book first, Kira's book second. Okay, and then after that, it probably doesn't matter so much because again, you know, like since since Orion has his own, where's my Orion at? Here we go. Since Orion has his own magic penetration artifact, his arm, his magic penetration skin isn't as important. It's not as important. So these heroes are super easy to get as well. So Aurora, you get basically day one, right? Or you get a relatively early in the campaign. Uh, you can get Kira from the campaign very early as well, which is going to be the most difficult part of all of this because you're going to be dealing with trying to grind for Aurora soul stones out of the campaign as well as Kira soul stones out of the campaign. You can take advantage of events or, you know, if you're on Facebook and web, you can use the 28th day 50 soul stone chests to kind of boost those up a little bit more. But over in the, the tower shop, you can grab Orion. Over in the tower shop, you can grab Orion. And Thea, wherever Thea soul stones are, right? Because you have to get Thea from the campaign as well. But I also, at that point, was thinking about, well, if I'm trying to be the most efficient that I can, and I'm thinking about ways to build this team that's even better, instead of even better, meaning easier, uh, uh, more accessible and more efficient, instead of using Thea, who is, you know, a, a fantastic hero, uh, healer, Martha, who's a fantastic healer, but kind of difficult to get, you could use uh, Marcus instead. So Marcus pushes Kira back, which is kind of unfortunate, but it still preserves the Nebula Orion pairing, Kira Nebula Orion. A lot of people would consider using Celeste in this instance, but Celeste doesn't work because Celeste pushes Kira away from Nebula, right? So you could use Marcus. And of course, Marcus is pretty easy to get from, where can you get Marcus? Here you go, from the Grand Arena shop. Uh, or if you just wanna deal with three heroes that have low star levels, ideally, the Aurora, Kira, Thea choice would be pretty solid as well. Thea is a good choice. Thea is a good choice, especially on Facebook and web. Where's a Thea Soulstone? Here we go. Thea is a really good choice because one of her ascension abilities, and this is a long-term issue, a long, long-term issue, uh, her ability to provide shielding if she overheals is a big deal. Uh, Ascension, here we go. All healing by Solar Sanctuary that exceeds the ally's max health is converted into a shield that absorbs all damage. Pure damage, physical damage, and magic damage, right? And this Radiant Healing Beam is also a nice little perk. The issue that I have with Kira and the issue that I have with Aurora is they they can be clapped pretty, uh, pretty effectively, right? Kira, contrasting with... Kark and Yasmin, which has kind of become the default three agility heroes that I kind of, uh, you know, compare each other with. Dante, I should include Dante as well. Kark has his uh, negator of laws, blocks a uh, type of damage, right? Not all damage, just physical damage. You have Yasmin with built-in dodge. You have Dante with built-in dodge. Whatever. You guys know Dante has built-in dodge. But Kira, Kira doesn't have any built-in defenses, right? So having a healer Thea, who is much faster healer than Martha is, by the way. Thea is a much faster healer. Also providing that shield and damage reduction. Extremely beneficial for a squishy, squishy uh, agility hero like Kira. And of course, Aurora's, you know, being countered by pure damage can be blocked. Uh, one of the few things that can block pure damage in the game is Thea's shield as well. So you have these heroes that are easy to get, right? So you don't have to wait weeks, months, potentially years to get access to a Soulstone event. Some of you are waiting forever for a Celeste event or for a Martha event. This team is very easy to get. It's uh, it's effective because it, it works versus physical uh, high armor teams. It works against high dodge teams. It works against, you know, a, a lot of different lineups. And in the future, you could split the team into two, a Kira team and an Orion team. And you can start building multiple lineups with a nice core team that will work in the adventure mode, in the tower, in the arena, in global championships on some, on, you know, on some level, 
uh, Guild War for sure. It's just it's just a nice all around team. All right, if you plan it out long term, it's going to be a highly effective team. Uh, why the book first? The first artifact for Aurora does the book stats is locked in, but with the amount of strikes. Wally, I'm sorry. Was I? We we discussed this last week. Tanks always go the artifact first, the primary artifact first. The the tank, the tank artifact. You always want to you know get that as high as possible because their their ultimate is going to be used the most frequently. But we're not talking about we're not talking about um, artifact elixirs. Well, let's see here. Let's just use Krista as an example. We're not talking about artifact essence usage here. Artifact essence usage should all go to the tank, Wally. We're talking about artifacts scroll usage. All heroes should get their artifact weapon to three stars in your team, right? Then I like to focus on the artifact weapon of the tank. And of course the artifact book of the most important hero, in this case, the tank still. As I said previously, Corvus, Kira, Morgan, Celeste, Isaac is actually surprisingly strong too. Double AP artifacts that boost Kira pretty hard. I think that team would be fantastic. Raven. I think that team would be very strong. You know, Kira is a successfully fast attacking hero. Like if you were trying to build a team that all they were trying to do was burn you down immediately, Kira's Kira's your girl, right? Even even Yasmin has some issues getting ramped up at times. But Kira from the gate is good. She's good. Uh Kira Blender or Kark Blender. And if Kark when you use Bob team and when Kark Blender. Um Orpheus Francis, I think Kira Blender is the superior blender because how frequently the, 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 the blender term comes from the bonus damage that Sebastian gives to critical hits. Every critical hit, Sebastian adds pure damage to that attack. And Kira just attacks way more frequently than Kark does. She attacks the same speed until her green ability is active, but her attacks hit way more people than Kark's attacks do. Uh, I use Kira during Helios, Ching, Mao, and Astaroth. I had to find a way to get Helios in because yeah, you have to find a way to get Helios in. Like you just have to anymore. Does an undead Kark team make sense? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. I swap out Helios for Martha. You could build this lineup. You know, you got Tank, Orion, Nebula, Kira. Instead of putting a healer back here, you could just throw Helios. It's a good idea, Gillibeer. Helios isn't a, a real easy to get. You can kind of get him later on though. Doesn't Nebula do some healing? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not high healing, but it's a lot. It's not enough to be a primary healer. She heals for about 28,000 health every 10 seconds or so. Uh, October Bright Sunny, the J the, the Jet Kira Sebastian bug is some kind of bugged interaction that causes Kira to do extra attacks. It's been proved and uh, around for like two years. So, I mean, who I, I, I don't think it's ever gonna get fixed, but eventually it will get fixed. Or they're just, they're, they're, waiting, they're waiting to change Kira's abilities so that the, the fix won't matter. 